And the increasing rate of kidnapping in Nigeria is fast becoming one of the biggest security challenges in the country. A recent crime report released by the acting Inspector General of Police, Mohamed Adamu, shows that at least 685 people have been kidnapped within January and April 2019, with Zamfara State being the worst hit with 281 reported cases. Reacting to this, Kabir Adamu, a security risk management expert, has been highlighting some of the measures and areas security agencies need to focus on to tackle the challenge. In dealing with criminal activities, there are three major things you need to ask yourself. Um, the target, the means by which the criminal goes, goes ahead to carry out the objective, and then lastly, the reward. Once you understand these three things, it's very easy to put in place measures to control these three things. So criminologists will tell you, um, increase the risk uh, for the offender to carry out that offense. In other words, our criminal justice system should understand that they need to punish offenders. Then secondly, make it difficult for them to commit the act. In other words, the effort that they need to carry out. And then lastly, the reward that they get, the ransom they collect, make it impossible for them to enjoy the ransom. So it beats me that the Nigerian um, security agencies are not carrying out these measures. If we look at all the three that I've mentioned, there is none out of the three that, as of today, the Nigerian government has approached rightly. Um, more what I'm seeing are knee-jerk approaches. So there is kidnap for ransom, you send out the military to Zamfara, to Katsina. Meanwhile, the haven, the forest, the ungoverned spaces where these bandits are using to operate to carry out the nefarious activities of kidnapping. Nothing has been done about it. Our security agencies, the equipment they need to monitor conversations between these bandits, nothing has been done. 